Mark. As you can see sa introduction, I went to National Museum of the Philippines last Thursday with my blackmates. I think it is my first time going there, pero hindi yun yung first time na nakapunta ako museum. The last time I went to museum was when I was in grade 11 sa Metropolitan Museum in Malate, Manila. And it was during our field trip year 2018, I guess. So, it's been 4 years na and I think gawa na rin ang pandemic kasi ngayon na lang ulit tayo nakakalabas, nakakagala. Pero kahit na ganun, medyo maluwag na, still ginagawa pa rin yung mga protocols sa National Museum like checking vaccination cards, ganun. Anyways, I'll start sharing now with my experience in National Museum. So, sa labas pa lang, ni-remind na agad kami na pwede mag-take ng picture pero walang flash. And bawal videohan yung mga artworks. Picture lang talaga. So, pagpasok mo sa mismo museum, bubungad sa'yo itong stalagmite na gift of Enrico Juan L. Manlapas. Dahil sa likod naman nito, lakad ka lang ng konti, makikita naman itong sculpture ng ating national hero na si Jose Rizal. And this is sculpted by Guillermo E. Tolentino. So, ito talaga yung nag-cut ng attention ko kasi as you can see sa lighting, ang ganda talaga parang spotlight siya for Jose Rizal kaya sobrang pleasing niya visually. Tapos after nun, ayun na, nag-start na kami maglibot sa museum. Actually, hindi ko na matandaan yung pagkakasunod-sunod ng pinuntahan namin so if flash ko na lang randomly sa screen yung mga artworks na mga natatandaan ko at mga nag-cut talaga ng attention ko. So, the first one is this one. So, this is a sculpture of Leon Maria Guerrero, which is created by Guillermo E. Tolentino again. So, Guillermo E. Tolentino, uh, honestly, narinig ko na siya before. Parang pinag-aralan namin siya nung high school ako. But, ayun nga, nakalimutan ko siya. So, I searched him. And Guillermo Estrella Tolentino was a Filipino sculptor and professor pala of the University of the Philippines. And he was also designated as a National Artist of the Philippines for sculpture in 1973, which is three years before his death. Next is this one. So, the painting of this is... So, this painting is Banoy or Pilfin Eagle use acrylic on canvas and this is a painting by Miss Bing Famoso and fun fact is it is a featured sa for nature art exhibit honestly for me is it is sa mga favorite kong artwork na nakita ko sa National Museum parang dinga lang ako eh, kasi natatandaan ko sa so sobrang parang nagandahan talaga kami ng mga classmate ko nagpicture kami doon ito yung picture to the point na natakpan na namin yung mismong painting Anyways, so next na tayo, sa sunod naman ay itong dugong scalp skeleton. So this specimen was collected from Quezon, Palawan on May 1987, so matagal na rin. Next is itong Philippine brown beer, which is the largest na native beer dito sa country natin and mas kilala sa tawag na USA. So nagkota ng attention ko kasi as you can see, ang realistic niya. Next is itong Ancaster Plancy. Yan. Isang uri ng starfish na mas kilalang crown of thorns starfish. Ay poisonous and venomous. And as someone na mahilig sa dagat, medyo natakot ako kasi first time ko lang makakita ng ganong species. And ang laki niya. And most importantly, ayun nga, poisonous siya. So next is this Philippine pangolin or anteaters. So, as far as I know, kasi nababalita to dati sa TV na endangered na sila kasi parang lumaganap yung pagbebenta nito, which is illegal kasi yung scale nila, ginagawang medicine ata, lalong-lalo na ng mga Chinese. Tapos yung meat naman nitong mga anteaters ay parang high quality meat sa kanila at saka sa mga neighboring countries. So, may naalala pa nga ako na parang nabalita. Um... Barko siya, tapos sobrang daming pangulins na nakita, napatay na, na wala na rin balat. And alam ko, designated sila para dahil sa China. And it's so sad lang na dahil sa kagagawa ng human, itong mga innocent animals ay naaabuso and worse na ubos. So next is the very popular lolong. So before, nakikita, nakakita na ako ng replica ni lolong na saktong-sakto rin sa size niya. Dati pa yun, nung field trip din namin. But, this one, 
sa National Museum is the taxidermied skin ni Lolong. So, as we all know, si Lolong yung pinakamalaking crocodile na huli from the wild. At ang size niya ay 6.17 meter or 20 feet and 3 inches. From snout to tail yun ha. So, imagine sobrang laki talaga. So, for the last artwork na ipapakita ko is this one. A painting of Mayon Volcano. So, sorry po, nakaharang, nakaharang ako. Kasi the reason is, I've always admired this perfect cone-shaped volcano po. Kasi, and nakita ko na to personal kasi I am a Bicolana. And tuwing pag nauwi kaming Bicol, nadadaanan namin to. And all I can say is, sobrang ganda niya talaga. You know, my experience po is... Pag nagda-drive kayo doon sa Albay, minsan yung volcano nasa harap nyo, tas biglang nasa gilid, ganun. So, parang nakikita mo siya in all sides. Kaya, manghang-mangha talaga ako. And, nakakamiss ka sa last time na umuwi akong Bicol is 2015 pa ata. Ito, pinost ko siya dati. So, ang date niya is 2015. Anyways, that's all po for my vlog uh, sa National Museum. All in all, I super enjoyed visiting the gallery and sobrang saya rin kasi kasama mo yung mga kaibigan mo. I mentioned ka lang din po, dumaan kami ng Neta and I think ang tagal na rin ng last na punta ko doon. So, I enjoyed din the view doon, lalo na yung fountain. So, ayun lang po. Thank you!